Today on Time with Tim, what are you doing to be well and show, and keep showing up as a leader? So I'm just going to reflect quickly on um, a key topic that came out of a webinar um, that for I ran with one of our associates, uh, Mel Litquitz from PeopleQ, um, last week. And one of the topics that sounded out loud and clear in that is just really, I think, how important it is to focus on sleep and sort of regenerative time through the day um, you know, as we're all going through you know, this really sort of heightened intensity in our leadership. A uh, number of people reflecting, uh, including myself, that uh, you know, one of the things about leading in the virtual environment is it's, it's very easy to stack your time relentlessly, just you know, from morning all the way through the day. Um, and even though you can program and block time out of the calendar, uh, you know, when you're just coming in and out of video and telephone sessions all the day, um, in some way, I think it's, it's, it's harder to sort of intuitively build chunks of the day where you can have a little down regulation, where you can actually kind of soften your cognitive output and, and, and eat as one thing. Um, and then really sort of how do you stop and how do you dial out? And I had one coaching conversation last week um, with a guy I've known for a long time who's currently in lockdown in New York. You know, and he was sort of you know showing the the camera around the apartment, and basically saying, "Well, there's my office right now. It's right over there, and you know here's the couch, and that's where I have my downtime in the evening, and then over there is my bed. Um, where do I go? How do I, you know, sort of partition and, and compartmentalize the day so I can have some downtime?" And I was just going through with him, you know, a few strategies that worked for me. I've spoken about these before. I've written about sleep at length, you know, over the years, but I think you know move as much as you can even if you're in a small space you know if you're on the phone walk around when you're on the phone even if you're doing laps of a single room that's better than nothing um, try and chunk some time just to sort of you know sit sit on the ground um, and you know do some stretching do some you know some sort of time looking out of a window try and give your eyes a break from a from approximate screen um, and also share what you're doing with your team you know, one of the people in, you know, in the, um, you know, in the in the webinar was saying that, you know, they they've been, you know, sort of having, you know, a little sort of yoga session with some of their team just virtually, first thing in the morning. I think that's a fabulous idea. Um, so I think, yeah, there's all these different things that you can do, but the very, 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 very mu most important one: stop at the end of the day, at least an hour before you're going to go to sleep, and do something completely unrelated to work and completely separate from news and you know just the battery of information that will come you know sort of crisis level um just give yourself a break that's the only way you're going to get any sleep and sleep that will be regenerative and refreshing so i hope that's helpful um tomorrow we'll do our little reflective exercise and then on sunday we'll review the week and then next week what being a leader is all about